This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV here with female MMA star Marlos Conan. You have a huge title fight coming up uh, tomorrow night against Sarah Kaufman, 135 pound title. How do you feel the night before the fight? I feel great. Uh, I'm almost on weight now. It's just like 200. I don't know what it is in English, but it's, it's almost nothing. So my weight will be okay. And it will be a life-changing thing, I guess, if I win this title. You already fought for the 145-pound championship, and you were a little bit small. How do you think you match up against Sarah at 135? Well, I will not be small this time. <laughs> no, I'm taller than she is, and uh, the weight cutting um, is not something I started like weeks or even months ago. So it was very, it was a good process, and uh, I feel good as, at this weight. You're both known for your amazing striking. Do you think this is yeah, going to be an exciting yeah. stand-up battle? It will be hard. I knew, I knew uh, with Cyborg, I knew it will be hard. I know it will be hard this time as well. You train in Golden Glory uh, with Overeem? Yes. What is it like training with those guys? Well, I always avoid, avoid Alistair because <laughs> he's so happy with me. But most of the time after training, he's trying to, to wrestle with me and I still run away because... No, it, it's good. It, it's mostly that if you have a group of persons who are this talented and this focused and this professional it will rub off on you as well and it's so it's amazing to to see to watch Alistair fight, train and well it's even more exciting to watch him fight I don't know if you saw that K1 fight uh, last uh, weekend but um, no it's great to be part of Golden Boy. Uh How have things changed just in the last year for you since you joined Strike Force and had two title fights how has your life changed? Oh, big time um, it's now I think a year ago I quit my work almost a year before that I was working in office I was training I was tired all the time and when I was fighting I was always tired sick whatever and uh, now I really can focus on training and uh, yeah it's like a dream come true do you like fighting in America or is it difficult with the travel no no, no it's, it's worse if you have to fight in Japan because then the jet lag is, uh, is off and now I arrived that Sunday and this jet lag is better and I feel okay and what I really love about American audience is that they, they understand the game. If you in America they understand the game and also in Japan, but if you're in the Netherlands and you're too long on the ground the whole crowd goes boo because they don't know what, what the techniques are or whatever, they only know the Thai boxing. So um, no I'd love to be here. Give us your prediction tomorrow night for the fight. I hope it will be a first round knockout. Is there anything you want to say to your fans and everyone that supports you? Well, thank you and uh, stop by at Facebook. Thank you for your time. Okay, you as well.